What's up, y'all? Back at you one more time with a sit down with Mark. Managed to slide one in before the new year. Got a chance to chop it up with my big cuz, Will Stanback of the Montreal, Montreal Alouettes, man. Um, good guy. Don't get to see him too often, so I hit him up, and he was like, yeah, I do the interview. Um, ask y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Um, stay tuned, because I'm definitely doing some in-persons for 2023. Anybody want to be interviewed, just let me know. Y'all check this out. What's good with it? What's up, man? How's everything? Everything is good. How you feeling? All right, man. You know, can't call it. Just, you know, living life every day. Just trying to get better, be the best version of myself for the family. I feel you. You know, still playing football and everything. So, That's But everything good, though. Yeah. Same here, man. All is well. Yeah. All is well. Um, I definitely appreciate you sitting down, doing the sit-down with Mark. Uh-huh. I definitely know you had a busy schedule, man, and I know your season was... Was uh was long, so I, I I'm glad we, we sat down and chop it up. For sure, that's what I'm saying. Sir. Yeah, hang out with me, man. After, uh, about about a good five seven minutes after we done. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. No doubt, we're gonna jump right up into this thing. Uh, Will describe your personality, man, on and off the field. Uh, for me, you know, I'm not really a loud guy. You know, I'm I'm really to myself. Um, whenever people ask for questions and stuff like that, like younger guys coming in, rookies and everything. I'm always one of those people in the um, in a film room that you can ask questions to. Um, when I'm when I know who I'm going against, usually because like in the CFL we play against the same team all the time, right? So you you get familiar with the players and you understand who they are, their tendencies as a player, and uh, you know you kind of build rivalry with these guys. So I would that would probably be the only time where I'm really loud and rowdy and when I'm going to certain people that I know and like we could talk trash on that level. Um, but for the most part, like, you know, I'm not really a guy who can talk in front of the team as in, like, motivating them, being that that leader who speaks to everyone. You know, I'm, I don't really have that gift. You know, I'm more of a person who can just show it on the field. But, you know, off the field, though, I, you know, I'm a loving person. You know, I'm a family man. Um, you know, that's all about my life now, you know, ever since I had my children, you know, got married and all that. But... You know, I really, I really real cool, man. I play Madden here and there, 2K, um, playing online most of the time, though. But, uh, yeah, just really just stepping into this life, the second life of mine of being a father, you know, and, you know, a husband. So it's, it's a little bit different for me now. Right. You know, talk about the memori how to memorize new plays and what techniques you use to do that. Okay. Um. So, for example, like, it's certain words in the whole terminology of the play that I listen for, you know, because me playing running back, you know, it's opposite of playing a quarterback. I don't really have to know exactly what every single player is doing, you know, but it's good to know that. But for example, like we'll have, we'll have the play, we'll have the, the formation, then the protection, and then the actual routes or play that we're running, whether it's a pass or a running play. So like, for example, if I hear like, Scat protection. Scat means like it's free release for us. And when I hear the the word, like if I hear like scat book or something like that, how I used to memorize all of the terminology was I'll write it down, I'll write every word down up under the route. So I have it in like columns and everything. So I have swing routes, all the little terminology for it, flat routes, all the terminology for it, angle routes, everything like that, and the option routes. So when I hear like something like book, I kind of dummy it down for myself to where like, okay, I know I have a flat on when I hear a book, I have the free release flat. So like the top of a book, a book is flat. So like, that's how I kind of like put things in to like dummy it down for myself. So like, I'm not out there thinking. And then once I just hear one word, I know what my job is. So like, I just take that one word out of the whole play because I already know all the protections and everything. But like some of the words that can be like attached to one another, can be confusing. So like, you gotta listen out for one thing. So when I hear like book or Hank or, or something like that, I know either I have a flat or a swing. That's what's up. Yeah. You know, not, all your, not all your games were good games. Talk about your worst performance and what you learned from it. Whew. My worst performance? This would have to be, you mean like whole career or like? Just pick one. Give me, give me one where you know it's just what your greatest. 
It wasn't, uh, I would say, back in 2019 when we played against Winnipeg Blue Bombers. I got about 10 touches, 10 to 12 touches, and I only ran for about three rushing yards. And the night before that, um, I was dealing with someone in the past. I was dating and everything, and she was literally arguing with me because I got a sports massage for my game. Usually, all athletes get massages to like loosen up your quads, your hamstrings, your IT bands, your everything you need to prepare two days before the game. And that's a routine I've been doing since I was in high school. But there's one particular person I was dealing with that a few years ago. Um, she really stressed me out, and I ended up staying up all the way up till three, four in the morning, you know, just bickering about one small situation. And it caused me to not perform at a high level my game the next day, which was a one o'clock game, early game. Wow. Yeah, so I'll probably say that's my worst performance, rushing for about three yards and getting like 12 touches. Anything you took from it? Any learning experience from it? Um, honestly, just, well, that's like more of like a relationship type, you know, stepping stone. So like looking at that, it's just, I'm just glad that's behind me and I'm with, you know, my wife now. And uh, I never have to deal with nothing like that ever again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that was just an immature situation that wasn't dealt with right, correctly. You know, because if you're dating a professional athlete, you know that they have to do things to prepare their body to go out there on the court or on the field, you know, to perform and to execute, you know, plays, execute at a high level. And that person I was with didn't understand that. So that caused me to have one of the worst games of my life. <laughs> uh, on the opposite end of it, man, talk about your major. What were some of your major highlights and achievements this season? This season, number one was coming back from the injury I had. The very first game of the season against Calgary. I broke my ankle and I fractured a, a ligament in my foot. So I was out for four months and I ended up coming back in October and playing against Ottawa Red Blacks and I finished out and played the last five games. So that's probably like my number one achievement this year. Number two was um, getting back with the team, you know, after all the stuff that I've been through, all the hard work I was putting in and, and the, in the weight room and the treatment room, just there's a long hours of just being alone and just working to get back to the field with my guys and to battle every weekend. Um, you know, that was another pivotal moment of me making it back. And then three, I would say getting to the Eastern Finals, you know, because I never made it to the Eastern Finals. This was the first year we did it. And uh, all the circumstances that we've been through as a team and then all the, the adversity that we dealt with. You know, nobody would have thought that we would have made it that far. So I think accomplishing that goal, getting that far, and just getting this close to the Grey Cup was another accomplishment this year. That's what's up. Big dog, last question, I'm gonna let you ride. Mm -hmm. Check out your social media, man, your team, and what can we expect from you in 2023? Okay, uh, Will Standback, running back, Montreal Alouettes, so play up in the CFL, Canadian Football League. Uh, I got Instagram, I got Twitter, Facebook. My Facebook is just my name, it's Will Standback, just not, it's not William, it's Will Standback. Um, my Twitter, my Twitter handle is at Will Standback28. Um, and my Instagram is the official underscore William Standback. Anything, any expectations going into next year? Oh, yeah, uh, man, I'm ready to come back. You know, uh, I had a, a big goal last year. I wanted to rush for 2,000. I know I can do it because of the, the supporting cast that I have around me in my offensive line up front. I really believe I could have did it this past year, but next year, you know, I'm shooting for 2,000, and I, I believe I'll be able to get it. You know, uh, it's going to be a big year because, you know, it's my last year on contract, and uh, I want to be able to show my worth again and to show the league like that. I ain't fall off or nothing like that just because I had a small injury. Now I'm able to bounce back and get back to how I was before. That's what's up. Will, I appreciate it, man. I need you to stay healthy. Yeah, I got you, man. Yeah. Thanks a lot, bro. I, I, I will. Yeah, that was just a freak accident. Like, I don't never get hurt like that. Like, the dude just hit my ankle and the other guy pulled me this way. So, like, I, yeah, it was crazy. Um, good talking to you, man. Take care. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I did, dog. All right.